Welcome. My name is Kelly Griffiths. I'm one of the librarians here at Shelton State Community College. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm going to talk to you today about what resources you can find at the Shelton State Library. I just want to preface all of this by saying we are all here at Shelton State to scaffold your learning. And at the library specifically, we're not here to give you a grade and we're not here to tell you you're right or wrong. We're simply here to provide support for you to do the best at whatever academic pursuits you are pursuing at Shelton State Community College. Some general information about the library. The library on the Martin campus is on the second floor of the atrium. We're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 until 8 and Friday from 8 until noon. We are closed whenever the college is closed, so if the college is closed for a holiday, then the library will also be closed. The Fred Library is currently temporarily closed. We do have a couple of library specific guidelines. We ask that you follow all of the guidelines outlined in the student code of conduct that you signed in order to attend Shelton State. But in the library specifically, we request that you don't bring in food or drink. We ask that you not be disruptive. We really don't care what you do in here as long as you're not bothering anyone else. And we ask that you don't remove materials without checking them out. Services that we offer include reference services, uh, computers, study rooms, laptops, modems, and calculators that can be checked out for the entire semester, medical models, and copiers and printers. In order to check out an item, whether it's an item on reserve that you'll only be checking out for an hour or two, or a book that you'll check out for three weeks, or a computer that you'll check out for the entire semester, you will need to show us a current photo ID. It does not need to be a Shelton State ID, and you'll have to tell us your A number. We also have a bunch of online resources that I'm going to detail in a separate video, including the Alabama Virtual Library, Shelton specific databases, the AVL requires you to use geolocation, but if that is problematic, we can give you a login. And then the Shelton specific databases are just accessible with your My Shelton login. That's the very basic overview of the library and what we have here. If you have any questions, here is my contact information. Feel free to uh, drop a line or stop by and see me and I will answer any questions you may have. Thank you.